Okay, I'm going to get you up and running with Techno Parrot today using Retrobat. It's surprisingly pretty simple, so check this video out. <laughs> Okay, so some of you might be aware I've already uploaded this, but this is a brand new fresh update. So if you want to follow it, just go into your emulator folder for Retrobat and just simply delete everything and start over again. For those new to this, what we're going to do is firstly go to the Techno Para website and the links in my description. Now take note of this. If we take a look at compatibility key at the top here, uh, you're going to get a blue tick, and that means that each one of the games listed, which is the full catalog of Techno Para games, are fully playable 100%. And there's quite a fair few in there. If we go down to the green tick, great. So it's going to play fine, but it's going to have problems with it. So, you know, just be very cautious of what is you're attempting to play. So next up, what we're going to do is if we go straight into Retrobat, and I'm going to go to download Techno Parrot in Retrobat. Now, if I do this, it's going to give us an error. And the reason this is, is that sometimes Retrobat's going to have emulators to download. Uh, some other emulators, such as this one, needs you to manually do it. So what we're going to do is just head back over to the Techno Parrot website. And if I go to the Downloads tab, uh, now this is what we need to download to get the emulator. Uh, if you have any problems with it, it's also recommending to download and install the DirectX user runtimes as well as the Visual C++. So, yeah, if you do get any problems with it, then that's your problem just there. So let's just download Techno Parrot. Now, on this option here, you've got two versions of this. And the one I'm going to be using for this is going to be the bootstrapper version. The reason being is that this one's going to do everything for us. It's going to automatically update everything uh, by downloading legacy release. Uh, it's going to be a case of you manually doing stuff. So always go for the bootstrapper. It's just an easier way of doing this. Okay, so once you've downloaded the emulator for this, the bootstrapper, what we're going to do is just drag it onto the desktop, enclose the web browser down, we no longer need that. Now, if we go to the Retrobat shortcut, which is the easiest way of accessing the file location for everything to do with Retrobat, if we just go to the emulators folder and just go down until we find Techno Parrot. What I'm going to do is just drag this bootstrapper inside of the Techno Parrot folder in Retrobat, right click on it, and I'm going to extract this zip I've just downloaded. And as you can see, I'm using WinRAR. If you're using 7-zip or even WinZip, then it's going to be the same process. So extract here. And there we go. So we can now delete this dot zip. We no longer need that one. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the ball rolling and get Bootstrap fully updated. So as you can see, it's automatically looking for things to install, including updates. So once you've opened up this, what we're going to do first is just go to the Browse tab at the top. And we're going to find where to pop this. So uh, you're going to need to find the Retrobat Emulators directory and just point it to Techno Parrot. So just highlight Techno Parrot and left click on it once so it's highlighted. Select folder. And as you can see just here, we've got a lot of things which isn't installed. So what I'm going to do is just go and click full install. And that's going to install everything into that emulator folder, Techno Parrot. As you can see, this is now filling up with files. So, okay, Techno Parrot is downloaded successfully. Just press OK mm -hmm. on this. And you're going to get a little prompt to come up say it seems like you're running for the first time. Uh, please set emulation settings. So, OK. And the next pop up you're likely going to see is you have no game set up. Do you want to add one now? I've got a game on my desktop as I use in my last tutorial for Techno Parrot. So, yes, we will add one. Right. So, what I'm going to do now is if I back out of the emulators folder in Retrobat, and again, and what I'm going to do is go to ROMs. And under ROMs, we're going to find Techno Parrot. So just open this one up. Now I've got a game here, which is a list. I'm going to just drag this one into the ROMs Techno Parrot folder. Now this bit is very crucial. If we go into the back GUI, and I'm going to right click on the shortcut in case you don't know how to get to it. 
open the file location and you'll find back to UI just here. And what I'm going to do is go to system list and system. And if I just scroll down until I find techno power up. Now, if you can't find any of this or you don't see it, then just uninstall Retrobat and make sure you download and install the DirectX all in one. Uh, that seems to be a common problem for some people. Anyways, uh, if we take a look at the extensions, the games aren't going to work with the extensions. So technopara.para.game, etc. Now, just take note of this. I'm going to be using the .technopara extension. So if we close out with GUI, and close this one down. What I'm gonna do next is rename this game. I've just dragged into my Technopower ROMs folder. So show you more options, rename. And all I'm gonna do is leave the game intact and then I'm gonna put dot Technopower. And just press enter. So that one's now set up, that's in our ROMs folder and it's also got this extension on the end. Okay, so let's go back to Techno Power Up. Now we put that game in place. And what I'm going to do first is just go to those three horizontal tabs at the top and install updates. So first of all, we got many updates here to install. So just update these. And all these updates and all the other information is going to end up in your emulators, Techno Power Up folder, which we requested. So as we can see, those updates are now finalized and they're installed. If we go back to the three horizontal tabs, I'm just going to go to add game and I'm going to find my game here, a list. I'm going to add game. And again, it's checking for updates. No updates found. So next thing we're going to want to do is just close this one down for now. And I'm going to go back to emulators and I'm going to find my techno power again. So techno power. Once I'm inside the Techno Parrot folder, I'm going to just go to Game Profiles. And once we're inside of this Games Profile folder, you're going to need to search for the game you've added for Retrobat. So in my case, I'm using the game Alest. What I'm going to do is just right click on it, go to Open With, Notepad. And what we need to do here is just search and look for the game, which is here, Alest. Now what I'm going to do is just go back into my ROMs folder, go back down to Techno Power, and we need to match this game up to make sure it's the same name as we have in Techno Power. So a list, and we've also got a list here. So those two match up now. Uh, say for example, your game name says something completely different. It's got numbers on the end or anything else. It's not going to work. So you need to title this exactly how it says. So I'm going to leave that there for now. So what I'm going to do in this case is a list is actually in capitals just here. And of course, this one's in capital in then lowercase. So I'm going to go back to this XML file and I'm going to just title this one again, but using exactly how it's names just here. And once you've done that, we're going to go to file, save and just close this down. And next up, I'm going to go back into Retrobat again. Now we can see Retrobat has now appeared because we put the emulator in place. And there's our game. So I'm going to go to View Options, Avast System Options. Now we've got a range of different things to mess around with just here. Uh, auto Configure Trawlers, I recommend to keep that on to Auto. Video Mode. So Video Mode, you can just change this to however you desire. I'm using a 1080p 60 hertz screen, so by pressing auto, that's gonna automatically select my 1080p screen. And if we go down to video and disable full screen, this should automatically detect it being no, because remember with Retrobat, auto normally goes with the next option, so it's gonna open in full screen. So anyways, let's open up this game and see how this works. And there we go, we're now inside Techno Power and it appears to be working just fine. In Okay. 
開始します。So let's just back out that using a hotkey. And that's all there is to Techno Parrot. So that's it for my Techno Parrot and RetroBat setup guide. Just be sure to hit notifications for me if you enjoyed this video and to keep up to date on new videos coming up for RetroBat, Batacera, RetroArch, and LaunchBox. By hitting notifications, it really helps my channel. Also, be sure to check out my new shop and become a member as well. Like I say, it all helps my channel out and I'm going to get bigger and bigger with this. Also, follow me on social media, guys. I'm on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. But until next time, stay retro!